Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope that you guys are all surviving this crazy time right now as we're all in quarantine. I'm here in Dallas for the week, spending time with family. And since I've been here, it's been really great because my mom is literally the queen chef. She actually makes all kinds of different foods. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you probably see me posting all the time when I'm here on my stories. Today, she's actually gonna be making one of my favorite Kurdish cuisines. It's called kifta, and I grew up on this dish. It is so good, and when I got married to Stevie and he tried it for the first time, oh my God, he was just like mind blown. It's kind of like the Kurdish version of dumplings in a warm soup. I'm gonna walk you guys through the process because my mom actually made it this morning and I thought, oh my God, I have to record this because it's so good. Side note, my mom is very camera shy, so you guys probably aren't gonna be seeing tons of her in this video. She really is just not a camera person. I'm trying to warm her up to it, but I guess today we got kind of far in the process because she just hates it. Is she hiding? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> She's laughing at me. But I hope that you guys enjoy her kifta recipe. It is so good. Look at my cute mama working in her zone. I learned that preparing kifta requires three steps. The dough mixture, which is made from one box of cream of wheat mixed with half a box of cream of rice. She adds in a teaspoon of salt and starts with a cup of water and just adds more water as she needs to until it starts to feel almost like a Play-Doh texture. The second thing she does in advance is she prepares her meat mixture. I'll tell you below in the description box everything that she used. This is a really important step. You really wanna pack it with flavor. She She's put so many different things in this mix from chopped up celeries and golden raisins and silvered almonds, the whole onion packs it with all of the seasoning. And this is what's gonna go inside of those dough balls. So it's really important that we make it flavorful. I used to take a spoon and just eat this by itself as a kid while she was, you know, stuffing the dough balls. So in the soup mixture, she, over a large pot, she just sautés in some grapeseed oil and just cuts up some carrots, onion, celery, and a handful of spinach or Swiss chard. And she just lets all of that kind of soften a little bit. And then she'll add in a can of tomato paste and a can of tomato sauce, and then fill the pot with water. Um, and then she'll add some salt, some pepper, and she'll just let that sit on high heat until it comes to a little bit of a boil. Um, and then later on, we're gonna come back and we're gonna add in the kifta dumpling ball. So stay tuned for that. But I just felt like I needed to break it down this way because this is kind of the three-step process. I'll show you how we do it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks like Play-Doh. It looks like Silly Putty or something. That's kind of the texture you want to go for. The top should be way thinner than the bottom because you're going like to step the it. Like these corners should be very thin. Huh? And then even the meat, it's your perfect. You want to fill it up more. You want okay to put to less. Fill it up. Mm -hmm. You can do all that. And then you move your hand as you go, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. And then wear your hand. You gotta wet your hand as you go. Mm -hmm. And I remember as a kid, something you used to do for me is you would get any of the leftover dough balls and just roll them up. Yeah. And she'd make little like, meatless. almost like a meatless yeah, donut I, hole ball. I still do that. I do meatless ones for Gigi doesn't like it and some people don't like meat. For her dough balls, you can do it however big or small you want your little dumplings to be. Now you have to keep in mind that we're gonna fill this up with meat. So really medium size is a good way to go. My mom has been doing this for years, literally since I was a kid, as long as I can remember. So she's definitely gotten really good at just eyeballing things, which is why it's so hard for me sometimes to share her recipes. Seeing her make the kifta, I noticed that she really just tries to pay attention to the details. She's just kind of working it into the palm of her hands and adding water. The water just kind of helps you create the consistency that you need to shape the ball. All right, once all of the kifta balls are completely filled up, you are ready to pour them into the soup mixture. I pour it. What do you want? I pour Me it. and your nana are cooking. Pour them in one at a time to be very gentle and grab a wooden spoon and just gently stir it to make sure that none of them are like sticking together when you throw them in. You're gonna wanna put this on high heat until it comes to a boil and then you can obviously turn it down. And so we're just gonna add all of the kifta balls in there. It should not take longer than about 45 minutes to an hour, she said, but you obviously wanna check on it because every stove top is different, every high heat is different. Go back and check it occasionally. While it's cooking, my mom cuts up some side garnishes, either some onions, some lettuce, so that you can eat it while you eat your food. 
voila look at how amazing this looks this is like art right here i mean whoa can i just say the raisins mixed with the meat it's just i cannot describe the flavor i always tell my mom please put the raisins in there because there's something about the salty sweet combination of the meat that complements just the savory taste of the dough balls with the tomato sauce over it it's just so delicious man oh man here comes my favorite part Man, whoo, hot. We just got back to Austin in the first bae, thing Steve bae, did. I got the kifta. This is freshly made from today. I got the kifta. Saz's mom is the OG of Kurdish food, y'all. I'm, I swear, I swear there is nothing better. We're gonna open a restaurant one day. Look at this, look at this, <laughs> look at this soup. Is look at all favorite? that. Look at all those fresh ingredients in there. Babe, and then I you already got the, stocked you up. Ooh, and then you got the kifta right there with the dough, fresh dough balls, handmade. Mm -hmm. I need to eat. I'm sorry. I can't talk. Oh.